Hello everyone, this is Michael, lead educator at NeuroStreet. This is the CL Weekly Review and it's Friday the 31st of August 2018 and it's week 35. And what an interesting week it has been. If we go take a look at the, at the daily chart, um, we can see that uh, over the last couple of weeks the price has been you know pushing to the downside and we hit this level here at sixty four dollars and uh, last week the price started to push up um, attacking these uh, additional uh, levels here and um, if we just look at the, the week's price action uh, we topped out at sixty nine dollars and then coming into Monday uh, Monday the 27th that was an inside day an inside day means that the high and the low is is within the previous days Friday's high and low very much a consolidation um, bar we then had an outside bar pointing to the fact that we may get some kind of breakout uh, to the upside uh, but it was only an outside bar in terms of this consolidation area which is what we would expect of this type of bar and then we coming into Wednesday we closed on the lows on Tuesday and we saw a massive move up um, on Wednesday which was driven by the um, by the inventory report um, pushing up towards the $70 level uh, and if you look over on the left here you can see that back on the uh, the 28th of, uh, of, uh, of July we we had a similar candle you know similar size similar candle pushing up on to that $70 level but not quite making it however on Thursday price continued to push to the upside breaking through the $70 level attacking 71 only to find that on Friday we had another inside day um, so come next week this market could move in either any direction it could continue its move to the upside or we may see some more consolidation around the $70 uh, level but what is clear to see is that the range hasn't been that great um, looking down at the the actual numbers um, you can see that again for week 35 you know the range on Monday was pretty tight 63 63 ticks on a Monday is very 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 tight indeed but it's to be expected given that we've got summertime trading uh, went up to 99 on Tuesday again very tight even on Wednesday only 139 for what was a massive day in terms of the volume that goes to show that those prices were pretty much accepted in terms of the range there wasn't a lot of activity in terms of price movement but we had quite a bit of activity in terms of contracts traded um, Thursday again was a push to the upside but it's still a, a tight range giving us an average of 371 which is really quite low um, normally you know we know oil move you know does about 150 160 ticks each day and we can see that this week it's been very 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 low open to close 130 high to low 229 not a lot of opportunities you needed to be pretty nimble on your feet to take a lot of money out of um, a lot of oil this week and then going down to the 60 minute chart you can see that uh, on Monday we created uh, these lows we were attacking 6850 and every time the price came down to that level we were finding some support and this went all the way into Wednesday here um, with the support and uh, finally the price started to started to take off and uh, you know gave us a fairly good run given that it was uh, inventory day uh, the problem however was on Thursday I was running the room on Thursday and uh, we were in this tight sort of 45 tick range virtually all the way through the session which was really quite frustrating uh, and I did say at the time that uh, I'm anticipating it's unheard of for the this market to stay within you know such a tight range um, you know two days in a row we had the similar range on the Monday to have it again on the Thursday uh, and true to form uh, they after lunch pushed the price right up to seventy dollars and fifty cents only to see the price collapse at that point hitting that resistance level during the Asian session coming back down to retest uh, the seventy dollar level coming into Friday's trading so that was that was the CL week and um, however I did take a trade in the room not on CL um, but on the YM and uh, let's uh, let's transition over to that and you can uh, see how that trade uh, worked out okay let's just go and look at YM let's go look at YM YM could be making a little move to the upside here we're at the value area high we've just broken the value area high bit of a push 
not a lot to get me in this trade though although we are positive in terms of the um, momentum to the upside the detector is up uh, we were in value um, we do have a little bit of divergence getting away we've got all these imbalances to the buy side here we need to break above this level we need to get up we need to get up here we need to be up in this area here to give us a chance of doing anything we need to break above that level um, oh, we've created a demand zone here uh, just on this line here so let's see if we see a little little push to the upside it'd be quite a nice little thing to happen towards the end of our session today hey, what was I saying uh, yeah it's a similar situation to what um, to what we see in um, the similar situation to what we see going on in America that uh, the, the conservatives are kind of infighting in and the Labour Party are just nowhere to be seen that's not happening in America I don't think that I don't think the Republicans are infighting but the the Democrats nowhere to be seen oh, what's going on here let's see if we get some momentum to the upside it's a buy on CL so good we I'm glad we didn't go short on the CL yeah so so there's no you know with the conservatives in this here there's no credible alternative you know and it's like in the US with the with the Democrats instead of the, I don't understand this instead of the Democrats talking about how we're going to make things better or what we what our policies are they're just having a go at Trump all the time Trump is bad let's impeach Trump oh most people don't care about that they want to say what's 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 what, what's what's how are we going to make this better for everybody you know, I love that phrase, Trump derangement syndrome. It's it's just, it's awesomely good. It's awesomely good. Trump derangement syndrome. Or when, or when Trump says, um, I'm not going to answer your question because you are fake news. It's kind of, they just, these guys don't know how to deal with it. Uh, yeah it's just well trump has never liked john mccain has he even though he's he's passed away now dave he's never liked him they've never got on and and uh, uh, john yeah you're absolutely right john mccain doesn't like trump either and and john mccain was quite instrumental in blocking you know certain things that trump was trying to do so there's no friendship there there was no friendship there yeah Oh, I think I'm in a trade here, but it's just, come on, give us some kind of momentum, YM. Go in one direction or another. Do something. Um, yeah, so uh, I just I, I just wish the Democrats would come, come up with some policies. And then the other thing the Democrats do, which I think is bizarre, um, is... Um, they bring in these other, these real, you know, socialist, communist people, like that lady called, I don't know, she's got a double barrel name. And she hasn't got a clue what she's talking about. Ortez, yeah. <laughs> she hasn't actually got a clue. She's just a hard worker. And then the Democrats go, yeah, she's the future of our party. And I go, oh, please. It's like she's got a script. If you take her off the script, you know. I'm all for young people having a go. That's fantastic. But to position her as the the new face of the Democrats is dangerous. No, I'm not. I'm not one way or the other. I believe that to have a to have effective government, you need two parties, both strong. Both parties need to be strong so that one keeps the other one accountable. But the way the Democrats are doing it, they're just playing into Trump's hands. Everything they do, oh, this is the end. Oh, he's going to go now. We've got him. It doesn't happen because he just doesn't care. He just he's just keeps plugging away at his agenda. He's so thick-skinned, it's untrue. So I just hope it uh, all works out. Come on now. This, this YM is just playing, playing me. Oh. 
Look at that move. It just pushes up a little bit, stops, turns. There's just no momentum, no drive here. Well, it is. It is crazy. And, you know, I think I think if the Democrats started to talk about real policies and about holding Trump to account, you know, like being proper politicians, I think it would it'd be good for everybody. You know, no matter which way you want to go, it'd be good for everybody. But it's getting to the point where they're trying to demonize him in such a way that some some idiots going to have a go attempt, have a go at his at his life. And that will only be bad for the Democrats. If somebody has a go at him like that, kiss goodbye to winning, you know, that that will just play into the Republicans' hands. Oh, in my personal opinion. Anyway, let's not talk politics, shall we? Let's let's see if this trade is gonna do something. Right, all has found a base and is pushing higher. What time is it? We're at that time now. 11 o'clock where we see some action some action normally kicks in between now and for the next sort of 40 minutes 50 minutes we often get a bit of action look we've got all these imbalances to the upside here when i see these imbalances the price should go up and uh, we've got positive delta now we've created a new demand zone that demand zone says the price should go up Let's see what they're going to do. The price should go up now. All this demand. Well, Edward, I'm only talking. I'm not, you know, I'm not from the U.S. I'm an outsider. I'm an outsider looking in, and um, it's my kind of perception of what I see going on. You know, you know, when, when, when I saw pictures of all those guys who lost their lives in North Korea and their and their bones were brought back into the into into America. You know, and they were given all of the military, you know, stuff. I can't understand why all the net, all the TV channels didn't cover that, because that's 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 kind of important. But it's like anything that Trump does, they're opposite. Well, that's a good thing because Trump has already worked that out. It's not stupid. So if he wants to do something, he just says the opposite, and then he knows that he'll get what he wants done. <laughs> it's just, yeah. If he started to say, hey, let's not build a wall now, I've changed my mind, they'd all start saying, oh, that's really terrible. <laughs> you should build a wall. <laughs> You'll see. Whatever it is, he they they will go for the opposite. And now that's set in, you know, that tone is set. And if I was if I was a political strategic person, I would be manipulating that. Oh come on, I mean this YM is just boring me now. Um, what's going on on the 6E? Nothing. What's going on on CL? Nothing. What's happening on gold? Nothing. I'm really sorry about this, guys. We kind of um, career politicians. I think that's a difference as well. Trump isn't a politician. He's not a career politician. He's got all the money he wants. He doesn't even take a salary, does he? He gives that money away. He's doing it because he just wants to. Probably it's because he's got a massive ego. That's probably the reason. doesn't matter. One dollar a year salary, right. He's probably just got a massive ego that wants to go down in history as been more than a billionaire that he actually was a president and made a difference i don't know i don't know what goes on inside his head what i do know is that he's done some things that have made a difference so anyway what is happening here what is happening here the ym is just just pootling along really i've only got three lots on this for some reason i don't know why it's just sort of pootling along and um okay so we've got up to got a free trade now 
on 100 and yeah we're on a free trade now once i get to 10 ticks say that stop goes to break even plus um where is it going to head well looking at the 30 minute chart you know we could get up to 26150 that's a possibility or we could just come back and retrace and take me out again it's just the way the price action has been today guys you know it pushes up pulls back takes you out a couple of ticks pushes up pulls back Look what it's doing now. It's doing exactly the same thing again. So when we when stop goes to break even, we're up about $150. That's all, you know, 10 ticks. Um, and, you know, what I expect to happen is the price continues to push, especially at this time of day. But um, it's just one of those slow days. Tom wants to see the ATM. Okay, so... Unfortunately, Tom, what you can't do, oh, this trade's coming on now. Um, what you can't do here is um, I can't send it to you because there's no template to send you. Um, but in terms of the five lot strategy, it looks like that. So can you just take a quick screenshot, Tom? Quickly, let me know when you've done it. Got it? All right. Now, this is the stop strategy here. There's a stop strategy. You got that? Good. Well done. Okay. So, basically, what's happening is I have three targets. I have a, a target at 10, 15, and 20. I have a stop at 10, 15, and 20. Stop is once it gets to 10, uh, go to break even plus one. And it's as simple as that. Come on, what's happening with this trade then? Okay, it's 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 ticking along quite nicely. So I'm going to move my I'm going to move myself up to the big round number here, and I'm going to move my stop up. Ah, where shall I put it? Yeah, actually, it should go it should go here. The truth be known. All right, see so if it breaks this level here. Um, basically, I'm just going to let this thing just let it run. Really, I'm targeting up this up at this back up at this area here I'll back up at today's yesterday's the today's highs let's see if we just get a slow gradual push to the upside only got three lots on this it's just been one of those boring days guys sorry about that but not a lot I can do okay so let me move my stop up now to here just lock in a little bit more profit Pushing up nicely now, so I don't want to be greedy here. Let's take it to the next level. So I'm just gently moving my stop just below, at the low of the previous bar. Now we get a sell and a trap. We know what happens when we see that. There's a good possibility it will come and take us out. Um, uh, what's the volume looking like at this point? Let's just see. What's the volume doing? 800 at that point. So the volume's gone up a little bit, but not cons not significant. So we're on 330 now. Not a bad little trade for three lots on, on the YM, right? It's not bad. Thinking about it. I was rather it was sort of six lots, but it's not too bad. We're definitely seeing a pullback now. If it takes me out at this point, that's fair enough. My my target is up here, just at the um, this area where it, where we had the we, we had the turn last time. This yes, the, the the high during the Asian session is my um, is my target. We'll see if we get to that. So we've had a sell and a trap, and we know when we get a sell and a trap, we know that there is a distinct possibility of a little reversal. But we know we're in an uptrend here, so this will just be a little pullback. Got positive delta going on here, a bit of an indecision candle. Uh, need to break uh, 140 to get a bit and go a little bit higher there. Uh, so we're hitting 400 now. I really don't want to be greedy here. This is going to be one of the most boring trades I've ever done. <laughs> I'm only joking. Give me boring any day if it makes money, right? So if we can get above 140, that would be quite nice. And in fact, what I'm going to do now, this is the way I'd trade this now. I'm just going to get this out of the way, right? And what will take me out of this trade isn't hitting my target. What will take me out is hitting my stop. If that makes sense. Yeah, so what will what will determine my profit now is it hitting my stop, not hitting my target. I know we're going to have some problems around this area anyway, but as you know, it's coming back at me now, and that's 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 okay. I'm not gonna.
that's about 360 so I'm just going to move my stock just up a little bit here to that number there yeah so you know basically you know if it if it broke through here carried on going I just stay with it you know I don't care every level will get broken at one point remember that all these levels they all get broken eventually there's only two levels that are automatically no I'm I'm moving it myself uh, I'm doing it manually uh, there's only two levels that never that don't get broken and that's today's high and today's low right well they, but even those get broken but in terms of the levels for today those are the only two levels that really matter right so I'm just at this big round the big not the big round number but a a round number here see if we just get a little push to the upside here okay okay so let's just see push a little bit higher these type of trades are quite gratifying I'm just going to take another tick out of it here just there's another tick thank you very much that gets me a McDonald's no I don't eat that stuff anymore mr. healthy me I tell you mr. healthy <clears throat> Go on, Mr. Market. Keep going. Yeah, I um I had a, a regular checkup with my doctor, and uh, the doctor said, Michael, you are on the cusp of getting type 2 diabetes if you don't change your lifestyle. And I went, Oh my God, really? Yep, really. So I went I went into overdrive mode, and um and now I walk every day five and a half miles or eight, nearly nine kilometers every morning before I start to trade every day and I go to the gym and modified the food yes yeah, modified the food I try to eat clean food now and um, I have lost in I think it's about eight weeks now I think so yeah nearly eight weeks no less than that less than eight weeks I've lost 20 pounds in weight do yeah 20 LBS 20 pounds. I don't know what that is in kilos. It's about 14 kilos, something like that. I don't know. Incredible. It's absolutely incredible. I'm still alive. <laughs> oh, I do this thing called um, intermittent fasting. So I only eat food between the hours of 12 in the afternoon and 6, 12 till 6. So I eat for six hours and I don't eat any food for 18 hours each day. And half of that time you're sleeping anyway, so it's not it's not difficult to do, right? Are we going to now? We we're expecting some pullback down here, right? We're expecting some problems here. Yeah, we are expecting this. So I I don't want to give too much back. So I'm just going to put my thingy there. Let's. So we got some. Well, now they're trying to they're trying to create some energy to push it through this level here. That's what's going on here. You can see all these imbalances to the upside. They're trying to push this one through so let's just do this let's just put my numbers on so you can see the numbers themselves all right here we go you see see how we got imbalances to the buy side um, they're really trying to push this through now if they do that's great because then I can just move my there see Right, yeah, I guess that it's not my target's gonna get me out of this trade, it's my stop. Right, let's see if they're gonna be successful here. They've really tried. We've got imbalances to the buy side, and the the sellers have virtually given up down here, but they've all come back in at this level here. You see that? So the sellers have all come in here. They were they they gave up gave up down here, but they've all come back in here. So and we're now absorbing these imbalances here so we just need to see it push a little bit diet a bit higher now my diet is basically low carb low carb high fat medium protein it's called the ketogenic I don't know something ketogenic something yeah but it's worked it's worked for me I'm gonna have some blood tests soon and see if uh, all the levels have improved and if they have, that's good. That's a good thing. Because you see, in this life, guys, it doesn't matter how much money you've got. If you lose your health, you know, talk to Steve Jobs, you know. Oh, hey, look at that. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you very much, Mr. Market. Let's just push this up a little bit. I'm at the big round number now. Very nice. So, 
here we go. Yeah. Okay, so we're up at 800 now on this trade, and I'm moving my stop up a little bit more. There we go. And I'm just going to get my target out of the way here. Yeah, up there, please. Uh, up there. That's it. Good. Okay. So here's my current stop. In terms of profit on this trade now, I'm up at nearly $900 on this one. My stop is positioned just here. Let's see if they push a little bit harder. Okay, so it took quite a bit of effort to get it above there. Um, and as we can see from the print now, we've got another sell. The buyers are getting a bit tired. Um, I'm going to put my, I'm going to go above here. Yeah, keep going, keep going YM. 900 on this trade now. See on the buy side, you can see here that we've got uh, reducing volume here. You see 1844.69. When this closes, that would be a uh, a trap move. So let's just see what happens here. We're up at $900. Well, yeah, I don't want to be greedy though, guys. You know, I don't want to be greedy. Oh, it stopped. That's always a good sign. This is a good sign. I could get a sudden jump to the upside. Thank you very much. That was a good sign. Did you see that there? Did you see the way it stopped there? That's always a good sign, guys. When that happens like that, you know there's some accumulation going on. So we're up at a thousand now, and uh, progressing quite nicely. Let's. Where's my target? My target should be well out the way. Okay, let's move this up a little bit. Stick with it, guys. We'll we'll close the room once this is done, but it'd be quite nice to see what the end number is. Let's go up to the big round number there, uh, 170. Let's see it continue to push to the to the upside. In terms of profit here, we're up at 1,035. Um, what's going on here? Okay, so if I just do that... Okay, so if we just have that there, we can then see where the profit is. And then we can absolutely expand that now. Right, we're definitely seeing a little bit of weakness here now coming into the market. The bulls, I think, have had their run. Another sell here on the YM. And it's continued to push to the upside. So I'm just going to be really cheeky here. I'm going to put my stop just there. And if it takes me out, it takes me out. Here we go. Oh, trap move to the upside, sell, trap, sell, that I'm out. Okay, guys, so that was a nice little trade there, 970, 975. I hope you enjoyed that recording of a live trade that I took in the trade room. If you'd like to become part of the trade room or access more details about NeuroStreet, go to neurostreet.com. Thank you for watching.